Hi there, Velmoet here. I help online course creators with the techie side of their business and with their Facebook ads. And in this video, I'll show you how to add your Facebook tracking pixel to your new Kajabi website. Because if you want to run ads, the first thing that you need to do is get that pixel on your site. Even if you're not running ads right now, and if you're considering doing them in the future, make sure to add that pixel so that you can start tracking the people that come to your site. And this is all data that you can then later on use once you're ready to start using to, to start running ads. So what you need to do first, you're logged into your Kajabi backend. And here on the left hand side, there is integrations. So we're clicking on that one. And we'll see an overview of the different elements that we can integrate with. So PayPal integration, Stripe for payment and all that. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll get to the area for the Facebook pixel. And it's now set to off and we're gonna toggle this to on. And now here we can add our pixel ID. Now, in order to get that pixel ID, we need to head over to Facebook first. We need to get that code. We need to create the pixel and then get the ID for that specific code. And we enter that in here. So onto Facebook, you need to go to this specific URL here. So www.facebook.com slash ads slash manager slash pixel slash Facebook underscore pixel slash. Right? There's different ways to get there, but if you can go to this one, you'll get there right away. So I'm going to hit enter to get to this page. And you will now see here at the top, we're in the Facebook adverts area. And here it will prompt you to create a Facebook pixel. So we're just going to click the green button down here where it says create a pixel. I'm going to click create. Okay, so here it's giving us some instructions, but we don't actually need this for setting up your Facebook pixel on new Kajabi. So I'm just going to click cancel here. And we need to get to that ID code of the pixel, right? So if you look up here at the top left of the screen, you will find the name of your pixel and then the pixel ID. So I'm going to copy this code here. And I know it's blurred out in this video because, you know, this is my pixel, um, but you will find your code here. So you're going to copy it. So select it, copy it, go back to new Kajabi and paste that same code right in this field for pixel idea. So here's the code and we're going to click save. And that's basically all there is to it. So right now your Facebook pixel is installed on your new Kajabi website. And there's a couple of things that it's automatically tracking. So let me share with you uh, what that is. So there is a page view pixel on every single page of your Kajabi website. There is a initiate checkout pixel that will fire if someone lands on a checkout page. So this is not when they make the purchase, but when they're on a specific, you know, when they're on a checkout page in your Kajabi. And then there is a make purchase pixel that will fire after someone indeed made a purchase or did an upsell. And there is a lead pixel that will fire when someone lands on a thank you page after they submitted an opt-in form. So for example, for a freebie. So there is, just to clarify that a little bit, there is a general Facebook pixel that we now installed on new Kajabi. But then there is like different parts of extra code that you can put on different pages so that you can track more specifically where people are on your website. Because it's interesting to know if someone just landed on your homepage or whether they actually got all the way to the stage of the checkout page. And if you then figure out that they didn't make a purchase, you can retarget these people saying, hey, you missed out. Do you still want to buy this product, right? This, this course, for example. So it's really important to have all these different elements. And you can then later on use that in your Facebook ad strategy to be most successful in retargeting all these people. If you need to know more about how I can help you with Facebook ads or if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below this video or send me an email at info at askvelmoet.com. That's info at askvelmoet.com and askvelmoet is spelled A-S-K-W-E-L-M-O-E-D.com. 
I would love to hear from you. Thank you.